Hello everybody, I am M.M. Naikudi Educate Dharwak, Karnataka. Today I am going to tell you the briefly regarding the procedure for filing appeal or any other petitions or applications after prescribed period of limitation. As you know, limitation period is prescribed as per Article 1 to Article 37 for various suits, appeal, applications, petitions, etc. Now, if there is a delay and after prescribed period of limitation is over, then under such circumstances, what is to be done? Section 5 of the limitation says that in case of appeal, application or petition, a delay condonation application is a must. When in such application, the appellant or the petitioner has to mention the grounds or the reasons for the delay. Section that, uh, Rule 13 of the Karnataka Civil Rules of Practice says that as per Section 5 of the limitation, the appellant or the petitioner has to file an application and it should be supported by an affidavit and in the said affidavit, the reasons for delay or sufficient cause must be mentioned. So, this is the procedure applicable in respect of appeal, petition, application, etc. And this delay condonation is uh, not apply. This uh, section 5 of limitation does not apply to suits or execution petition as specifically in the in the said section it is mentioned that it does not apply to the execution petitions or application under order 21 of cpc but there is no also mention about the suit etc then how for the suit is uh, uh, suit is to be filed within limitation period as you know in my earlier lecture i have told order 6 rule 7 of the CPC, the grounds for limitation has to be mentioned by the plaintiff and the grounds are section 4 to 24 of the CPC except section, uh, sorry, section 4 to 24 of the limitation act except section 5 wherein the various grounds are mentioned as applicable to the suit has to be mentioned in the plaint regarding the delay in filing the plaint etc. Hence this video.